Oh, why? Why, why, why? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that sucks. What's going on folks? Welcome back to a, another video. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different today. We actually aren't doing any fishing today, but we will be seeing some fish. Um, I am a PhD student at Michigan State University, and I am bringing you all along with me today on a sampling trip. So we're off to Lake Michigan to sample fish stomachs from trout, salmon, and walleye. We'll probably see a decent amount of salmon today, um, maybe a couple steelhead or a rainbow trout, but we won't really see any walleye, but fingers crossed I see a lot of salmon. Uh, I'm excited to bring you all with me and uh, let's just have fun. So first things first, before we head to uh, Lake Michigan, today the destination is Saugatuck, Michigan. Uh, but first we have to head into Michigan State's campus uh, in East Lansing because we need a couple of things. We gotta get a measuring board, uh, we gotta get some dissection tools, we gotta get some tags so we can record the fish information. And then we gotta grab a cooler with ice because we do not want these fish stomachs getting warm. Because as you probably can imagine, if the fish stomachs get warm, they start to smell very bad. So we're gonna head in and grab the materials that we need and then uh, we'll be on our way to Saugatuck, Michigan. Don't forget to wear your mask when you're on campus, folks. And we're off to Sagaduck. <laughs> Twenty-nine and a half. This is a steelhead. No clip, by the way. Yeah. 
Big old stomach. Four. Stomach is full. It's got some male wives in there. It's probably got some male wives in it. There's some male wives in that stomach for sure. Back to the lab that yep. Yep. And then we get to look through them after. Alright, when they get to look through them after in the lab. Sorry? You look at them in the lab. Yep. Thank you. Can I take a muscle sample off of them? Sometimes I'll show you guys. It's a fat one. That one might have a bunch of like a gale wife goby, something down there. 32 and three quarters. It's a uh, left, uh, it's clipped. It's left uh, ventral. Yep, left ventral. Can you, if you got a second, just move that case? I just don't want to get it bloody. What do we got? Oh, there's some ale wife in there. Some full stomachs today. Another lake trout, a big lake trout. Trout, small kings, some big stomachs, ale wife in all of them so far. Thank you. Are you well, there are people donating and okay. taking them. Yeah, Thank you very much. How many yeah, coolers? If, uh, if, uh, if you don't want anything, this big orange tub is in. where to put them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then you're coming back tomorrow again? Yeah, I'll see them after you get clean. It. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, 21 and a half inch steel I don't even, I don't like. It's uh, cool. whatever, so I'll, yeah, I'll be down Yep. Here. All right. Good, Good deal. deal. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No, yeah. thank you. Trim. Hey. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? How are you guys doing? We haven't had nothing come in in quite a while. Yeah. Everything seems to be coming by yeah. car. So maybe you guys kind of help right here. Um, how many more you got, Jennifer? 18. Oh, wow. 18. Okay. Oh, well, there might be people like your buddy, you know, if you just don't show up. We're just down a shot. Yeah. And they've only got a half up. Yeah, okay. So these are donated now? Um, kind of I don't know. I don't. Yeah, we can just bring it over to him and if they don't, you know. Like the middle. It doesn't really slide like a thousand going to slide. They don't slide. The coho don't slide. Yeah. <laughs> Their scales well, get stuck. It's yeah. another tough. <laughs> Does the fish slide? 22 and a half, no clip. I got blood in my toes, I think. Yeah, dude, I saw you with those flip flops and I was I, like, oh, I man. ruined my shoes last week. They got all bloody, so I was like, I'm gonna flip flops. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather just. Uh, Wash my feet off later. That's fair too. Ruin my pair of shoes. Yeah. I wore nice shoes too. But that's why it took me so long to go to the bathroom. I went back to the truck. <laughs> More hell life in this stomach. Or you know, last time we had a bunch of cohos in lab, it was gizzard sheds. So. Yeah, well, especially the southern end of the lake is where you see. Is where you see them. Thank you. 
this a keeper or a donator? Oh, they left. He's already walked away, so I think it's a donator. Ooh. What type is that? This is a steelhead. They've got the nice fanning. This is actually a trout. They sell them every day. Steelhead, trout, and salmon. Different types of salmon. Yep. This is a, they call them rainbow trout too. In the lake, they call them steelhead. 21 and a quarter. They clip that fin up there, so that way they know it's a stocked fish. It means that it was planted in the lake when it was small by the DNR, and then uh, it just grew up. So it wasn't it wasn't naturally reproduced out there. And when they introduced it, they snip off that. They cut that fin, and then they know it's a stocked fish. Uh, this one's 21 and a quarter. Damn, these stomachs are full today. They got some fish in them. Is this a tiny king? That's, you know, I spent a lot of time looking at it, uh, trying to figure out, and it's kind of what I think it is. It's either that or a coho. I'm pretty sure. I think it's a king because, I don't know, you kind of look at the tail and you can kind of still... It's got I don't spots know, it's down tough. here. It kind of looks like it has spots, right? I think it's tough. And I think it's a king. Yeah, it's like, you know, that's small. It's pretty tough to find. Like for research or something? Yep. Yep. We work at uh, Michigan State University. He's uh, he's doing his PhD looking at what the fish in Lake Michigan and Huron are eating. Okay. And then that one also. This one here. 15 inch no pit, no clip. It's a king. We're gonna call it a king. Yeah, we are. I think it's pretty fair to call it. I think so. Thank you. So over there, they're taking a little bit of meat and you can find uh, PFAS, the chemical associated with Teflon. Uh. I'm just gonna put yours here. You guys would say you don't 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 eat fish out of this river, right? Uh, I I I definitely wouldn't say that. Um, I personally don't know so uh, this river so so well, but it is it is good to check your uh, you know fish health consumption advisories mm -hmm. for sure. Twenty and a half, no clip, king. <laughs> I think I'm, if I can, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep doing the other thing, but I'll just keep trying to find them. And... Yep, I'll just keep doing this, man. Alrighty, folks, let me tell you something. You know, Saugatuck, usually we go to these tournaments, we get a nice little place we can set up. Um, Downtown Saugatuck is not a nice place to be able to just park your car and set up. You got uh, to drive all over the place to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully find a parking spot. And when you end up not finding one, you got to park two miles away and then walk to the place where you're going to be cleaning fish. Well, not cleaning fish, but you know what I mean, taking fish stomachs out of fish. It was one of the hottest and longest experiences of my life, but we're done now. We are going to pick up all the shit right now. Sorry, I, I had to turn. We're done. Um, we're going to pick up all of the, like the table, the dissection tools, and uh, the fish stomachs. So we'll grab those and then uh, we'll make our way back to East Lansing. I think, I don't really know where I am. I'm just going up this hill. We're back. It took like an hour and 45 minutes because it's uh, 
just over a hundred mile drive, but we made it back to Michigan State's campus. We are about to unload our cooler and then uh, head home and call it a day. So successful day on the water. Well, not exactly on the water, but successful day next to the water, collecting fish stomachs from uh, some pretty big fish. Well, as you probably can already tell, we are back uh, on Michigan State's campus. We got the truck all unloaded. Uh, now we just gotta bring it all inside, spray it all down with ethanol because we can't bring any of the uh, coronavirus into the lab. And then uh, we'll put the stomachs in the freezer and we'll be on our way. All right, we're back in the lab. We've got everything sprayed down with ethanol. Um, we got the cooler full of fish stomach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically take all the ice and take all the fish stomach. So first, we like to reuse our ice. So we're gonna put the ice back in the freezer. Because you know, things like ice cost money. We're gonna reuse all that ice. Okay. Now this is the good stuff. This is what this is what Santa brings home. These are the stomachs. We'll put the stomachs in a different freezer. Now the fun part, we gotta wash out the cooler. And let's drain all that nasty fish water. Be nice if I was pouring that actually into the sink. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Getting it in the actual sink would be beneficial. And the last step is we have to disinfect this sink. So take this bleach and pretty much just spray this whole place with bleach. Make it nice and clean inside didn't really come over here so i don't have to really do much there but everything there and then i'm gonna spread the cooler with some bleach too all right well that bleach sits there for a minute let's go look at oh god let's go look at what we got today let me unplug this fan first because this fan shouldn't be on now let's look at what we got all right what's in santa's bag so this whole day, the three hours, three and a half hours of driving, uh, all this prep, all this work goes into collecting these fish stomachs. So it's not a good one. Let me get a, let me get a nice, get a nice stomach out for it. So what we get at the end of the day is a nice little fish stomach. And these stomachs, we have a data tag in there with the date. Um, the location the fish was caught, the species of the fish, the length of the fish, whether it was clipped or not, which basically just tells us whether that fish was stocked or whether that fish was naturally um, produced out there in Lake Michigan. And we won't get into doing the stomach content analysis today. These stomachs are going to go into the freezer. They're from 2020. We're still processing the stomachs from 2019, so we won't get this to into this stomach for a while. but. It'll sit in this freezer and we'll get to it eventually. Um, I'm not gonna do any processing of stomachs in this video either. That'll be a separate video, but 
I appreciate you all for watching and hanging around to this point. This is really exciting research that we're doing here at Michigan State University and I can't wait to show you more of what we do when we actually cut these stomachs open and process them. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care everybody. Saga Tech, August 2020. Don't forget to disinfect with your ethanol. Try to stop the spread here.